Hey guys, it's uh, Laggardson from Akron Studios here um, with a little bit of behind the scenes for my latest Machinima project that I'm working on, um, which is going to be called The Cult of Herobrine. Um, so I figured I'd just take you guys through a little bit, you know, what, what we kind of, or what I kind of do to make these videos, what goes into uh, the various aspects of them, and, uh, you know, just kind of give you a little, little sneak peek here. So the first thing we should probably talk about are the uh, the mods that I use on here. So the first one, uh, and one of my favorite mods currently, is called Key Grip. You can kind of see the the outline here. Um, it's from iTune and uh, Ant Venom, I think, um, and they help they worked on this mod together. But essentially, what it allows you to do is record movements um, from your own character and play them back in order to make scenes. So you can see I have a bunch of different uh, scenes here for different videos that, I'm, that I have filmed. Um, so let's go ahead and make a new one here for the new the scene that I'm filming. Um, so we're on scene six now, so we're fi this is about uh, probably halfway through the machinima. Uh, got a couple of characters here. Uh, Menez, who's played, um, or whose skin is is on a friend of mine, because um, that's the way this mod works. So essentially, you dictate or you dictate the actions, and then you say, you know, what player model you want it to use, and whatever username you put in, it'll pull their skin from that player and uh, allow you to play it back. Here, I'll show you a little bit here. Right, should be right. Just double check here. So uh, let's record a little bit here just to test out and make sure uh, everything is working. La la la. I'm recording. La la la. And okay, so let's see what that looks like in playback here. There we go. Okay, so we obviously have this character uh, in that skin, and they're kind of wandering around. The other one didn't seem to be working quite right, um, but usually it takes a minute for them to work correctly, so that's not entirely out of the ordinary. Um, there we go. So, uh, essentially for this scene, the two characters, Jimenez and uh, a character named GamerGuy97, are walking out of the woods, um, and they're trying to find this evil, um, well, they're trying to find Herobrine, but they're trying to find someone who knows where he is. Uh, so we're going to start out by filming a little bit of Gamer here. He, uh, do, do, do. let me check my script. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Oh, no. We prefer clear weather when I'm working. Okay, so we're gonna have Gamer come out from this hill over here. Um, they've made it to kind of where they're, where they're going, where they're gonna interview someone about, uh, you know, where, where Herobine is. Um, so they found this right here, and he says, ah, here we are, all of the clues lead here. Uh, Jimenez says, what clues, what are you talking about? He says, come Jimenez, with our powers combined, this suspect will be no match. And he's going to continue on his way down here to the little college, on, or college, get college on the brain, the little cottage on the water here. Right. And of course, now we have our other character here, whose name is Menes. Um, so go in here. Okay, good. And we were we will record her kind of going through here, so you can see the skin actually worked that time. Um, so Menes is. Kind of following gamer, she doesn't really know where she is. She's kind of looking around and stuff. Um, this 
said, no, we're here. All the clues lead here. What clues? What are you talking about? And she is going to follow him um, down to this little cottage on the water. And it's, uh, it's basically as simple as that. Using this mod has been very, very helpful for making machinimas. Um, it just allows you to do so, so much. Here, let's watch a playback of that real quick and make sure everything's working out. So we have those two coming through here. Um, and as you can see, I mean, even the head, the head movements and everything like that are working out extremely well. Um, and they stop and we will get them, uh, get them talking here. Blah, 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 they're talking, they're talking, and then, you know, we have the, the cottage over here that they're going to go on towards, and uh, maybe they'll maybe they'll meet someone inside, who knows? I guess you'll just have to watch the final video to find out. Um, so the last thing we are going to do with this scene, let's stop that real quick. Um, the, the last thing we're going to use is a mod called Pixel Cam which essentially allows you to uh, perform dynamic camera movements within Minecraft. It's very, very helpful. Um, instead of, you know, having to work with the buttons and trying to get a smooth move like that, and, you know, it's you got to use all kinds of, you know, motion slowing mods or potions or whatever. Um, it just allows you to set these, these points super quick. So let's say I want to point um, right about there probably, and then we wanted a point. Let's see where they stop. Let's see where they stop here. Come on. So, probably gonna want a point with the cottage in the frame here, and line them up on the thirds, probably. Yeah, probably about. About, about there is good. Um, so now if we watch that back, um, let's see, let's try 20 seconds here. So we've got this nice smooth camera move as these guys are, uh, are walking through the scene, which is so helpful. It just makes everything look so much nicer and so much more professional, I think. Um, and that's why I've been using it tons in, in all of my new machinimas lately. After we're done recording this whole scene, I will pull it into Adobe Premiere, edit it all together, and of course, um, you can see I'm not actually recording any sound in game here. Um, so what I will have to do is go back in, in while I'm editing and put in the sound effects. Um, so, you know, this is around a lake, so I'll probably put some, maybe some seagull noises and maybe some forest noises, definitely footsteps as they're walking and the, uh, the voice actors lines as they stop and, and talk to each other. Um, yeah, I, I'm really excited about this video. I think it's gonna, gonna be really, really fun. Um, I'm looking to get possibly some, some big name voice actors for it. Um, and I will release more on that as I officially uh, nail them down for the role. Um, so yeah, this has been Laggardson with Akron Studios. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, behind the scenes on what goes into making Machinima, and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.